Hi there, welcome to my channel. Hey, what's going on with Trump meeting Orban and Netanyahu and British Foreign Secretary David Cameron and Polish President Andrzej Duda? What is it? Is it just these recent meetings with foreign leaders? Is this just part of a strategy to bolster his foreign policy credentials? Or is it something more sinister? So look at this. Ty Victor Orban's meeting with Trump at Mar-a-Lago took place really right after his visit to Moscow to meet with Putin. And this close timing suggests the potential link between the two. Now, Orban has been conducting what he calls like a peace mission, visiting various world leaders to promote a ceasefire in Ukraine. So he had meetings with both Putin and Trump, and it appears that this was part of a broader initiative. I'm not sure about that. But he did make unexpected trips to Kyiv, Moscow, and Beijing. So let's take a look at what's really going on underneath the table at Mar-a-Lago. Okay, so this meeting with Orban and then Netanyahu and, and Trump, what's going on with that? So the first one we get is the magician. The magician is, um, yeah, all the the power and um, manifesting. They're trying to, they're cooking something up. This is what's not just, let's go meet Donald Trump because he might be the next president. It is, let's go meet Trump and see if we can help him become the next president. So that's what those meetings were all about. The Empress. Yeah, there. The Empress is about secrets and secret societies and and um, inner knowledge, um, abundance. I think uh, this group was a met in secret, semi secret. I mean, we knew they were going there, but the things that they were said there. I mean, it was at Mar-a-Lago, so we don't know what they said. You know, chariot. This is, these are all major, these are major arcana. This is a big deal. Look at the major arcana in here. They're working on a plot. It's moving fast. It has to be fast. There's only a hundred days left before the election. And the chariot, I mean, they're really he wants to win and this is part all part of his plan trump's plan to win but here we have the eight of cups and this is called the uh, walking away so i don't know whether they're walking away from him um Maybe they don't want to be in on this plan. I know that Orban has this big picture of that he wants to be the uniter of all of the powerful men in the world and the peacekeeper and let's, the, let's make this secret organization of all the most powerful right-wing uh, monarchs, whatever, in the world, and um, 
and he's recruiting all of the leaders for that. So he's been making the rounds to Xi and to um, Putin and uh, Trump. You notice that he didn't go. Um, he didn't go visit Biden. But um, but I see this is kind of walking away or feeling abandoned. Um, I, I don't think Trump's going to get the support he wants. He is going to, he's just not going to win. You know, that whatever these machinations they're doing here um, to get him to win is not going to happen. He's just not. And we're all going to be happy about that. I think they're going to be. I don't necessarily think they want to deal with Trump, but they know how to deal with Trump. So he's easily manipulated, and they like that about him. But they really don't like him. Uh, but uh, we're going to be happy. It's this is this is all a bunch of smoke and mirrors. He's he's this is just not going to happen. So well, that eases my mind mind a little bit. Uh, I was I was worried. Did let me ask another thing. Um, did Trump? Uh, promise or give any of the documents that he stole from the White House to Orban or Netanyahu, any of the information or documents? Uh, did he promise those if he got elected, uh, if they helped him get elected? Um, he's got He, does he, he still has documents that haven't been given back. Where are they? Are they going to... Well, he's trying, you know. Um, uh, he's promising. Uh, he's bold about it. He doesn't. He wants to be the leader, and and you know, he'll do whatever he can to uh, to do it. You know, he wants to have control and authority and. Um, that he wants to be the king, but uh, the, he's on the wheel, and the wheel of fortunes can turn at any moment. This is, I mean, there's going to be change. He's uh, there's cycle, there's destiny, uh, there's luck. All those things are involved, and and um, it's not a very straightforward path to the kingdom. The page of wands. There's some information though that he has. Um, he would be happy to trade for help in winning this election. So he he has that information. It this is information that may be helpful, but it's not necessarily um, uh, necessarily hurt the U.S. that much. It's little information. I don't think um, maybe the um, Orban and, and Netanyahu are not interested in the information or maybe they're, it's just not as important to them as, uh, as he seems to think it is. He may not even know what his information is, but he's telling them they may not be believing him that he has this information. And the Three of Cups, um, Celebration, we're fine. Um, 
we don't need to worry about this. He's, he's promised them for some reason, they're not taking him up on it. And we're happy about that. Goodness. What I want to I also know is I've, I've uh, been hearing a lot of readers talk about Trump not making it to the election, having a health issue before the election that could prevent him from being uh, even in the election. So let's see if I can pick up on Trump and his health. Trump's health. Trump's health. Trump's health. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, there's going to be some information coming out really soon. So the Page of Pentagon, new beginnings, you know. See, he wants to show off. We're going to, this is his health and it needs to be looked at. Something new going on with him. It's not the dementia that people say. There's something new that's going on with his health. And it is serious. Um, he has to, he may have to step away because of his health. He has to prior to figure out his priorities, whether it's going to be being king and maybe not being king for very long or um, staying alive and taking care of his health, getting the help he needs. Again, transition, transformation, endings. This is not a good reading for Mr. Trump. And the Six of Swords is the end of this transition, moving on. He could be moving on to heal. This is this is what everybody else has been getting. I didn't really expect exactly what everybody else was getting. But, um, you know, the energy is there. He needs to look at his health because he's got a real problem. And he said, heck, a step away or the problem's going to take care of him. Um is it in his nature to step away? I don't know. This is saying new beginnings, but that could mean stepping away or not. And also this one. So transitioning, transitioning. Okay, let me, uh, I'm going to pull a, Another couple cards on this. Do we know? Can you tell me what kind of health problem? That's kind of a weird question for the cards, but what kind of a health problem is Trump going to have? Emotional, physical. Heart. I 
Mm. Might have something to do, he gets so worked up about his um, lawsuits and things like that, that, wow. Yeah, it's emotional. Um, it's going to take him out of the race. And yeah, because he's just going to go blithely on. He knows that he has this or should know that he's got this problem. Um, but he's just going to go, uh, I don't know. Go blithely on. He's not going to take care of himself, so we can't expect a major health issue. And let's see about when can we expect this to happen. Can we expect this before? Ooh, before or after the election? Can we expect this health event? before the election. Two of Cups. Yep. Um, Something's going to happen before the election. I think this this would be the election. This would be the issue. That would be the work. Yeah, he isn't going to want to be there. I'm going to put him in the hospital. Feels like everybody's against him. He doesn't want to be there. And there's his Wheel of Fortune coming up again. Karma. Um, well, Mr. Trump, take care of yourself. I don't wish anybody any harm. I don't want you as my president, but that doesn't mean I want anything bad to happen to you. I just want you to go away. Enjoy your retirement. Go golfing. Enjoy yourself instead of working yourself up to a tizzy all the time. Okay. Well, those are the questions for now. See you later.